and welcome to my daily blog of life for our beef and animal farm here in South Yorkshire. If you like these videos, remember to press the like button and subscribe. I need to keep remembering to say that at the start of the video because that's supposedly where you get most people to press the like button and subscribe. Anyway, we'll get on with life on our farm. I've got, um, what do they call this? Phone on? So hopefully we can get some more unique shots today. Um, I've come in Becky's car because uh, we're wanting to try and keep that charged up and ready to go. Because she needs to get that on Auto Trader or wherever you're supposed to sell. Where do you sell cars these days? Ash says put it on Facebook. Now, what how have people had success with Facebook Auto Trader? Where do you put it for sale? Let me know in the comments below. Right, it's time to get on the straw blower. See what we can do. Right, and we are on it. So get down here, bed some cattle up, keep them nice, happy and healthy. And then I think we've got some cattle to get out today. Oh, it's gonna be busy. So I've just um, gone into the big shed and straight away it's bunged up. So yeah, I don't know if I put this bale in or not. Bunged up now, so we've got to unbung it. Finally got it unbunged. Connor says that our Ben put bales in yesterday, so thanks Ben, I appreciate that, that was lovely. All I had to do was go in there with a bar and just um, prise it around. Say though, the yard is looking a lot tidier since um, Ben brushed it yesterday. Dad just going around feeding. And now, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the shear vault is gone. <coughs> so, <coughs> it's not been a. If I can get. I've got this man, man flow thing. Um, if I can get um, this day finished without any other major mishaps, it'll be a, a lucky one, I think. But yeah, shear vault just gone to be. Better get that changed. The bale sort of went at a funny angle and then bang, it popped it. It's quite. Yeah, it's really dragging off the power. Is this straw? Um, I just don't think it liked trying to process the bale the, the way that it was. Anyway, we got these sides open. This is the shear bolt here. So we'll swap this out. That's obviously snapped. We'll put a new one in. Then we should be back up and running. That's back in. I've just checked the tension on the chains. They look good. So we put this back together. And we're going to keep going. Mucky hands now, though. So I've blown one bale out successfully. So we'll go back to where we started in the big shed and uh, and give it a go. Put it on time lapse, I think. Usually with the teagle, I just go one side of that shed. But if you see, I went and then spun round and came back so that I could put some straw where we drive because it gets a bit wet if we just keep driving on it and driving on it and we don't set the muck out. So spun round, got it on there. Also means I can get it definitely to the back because there is a bit of wind today. So um, yeah, we just want everywhere covered in straw basically. I don't want any wet areas. Um, and that's what's great about the teagle and being able to point where you want. You can see what the wind's like uh, down here. It's blowing it. Not really where I want it, but anyway. Connor and my dad have been using spreader bale. We just reloaded that, so they've got one in for tomorrow. We've got the mill on at the top of the yard there. And we're gonna get a lot of cattle out ready for the new year. Get them all clipped and stuff. I think our Ben's here as well. Ah, Connor's just up there filling the mill as we speak. Getting this uh, this one out. Really nice shaped one. Yeah, it's fit. 
off. <laughs> so me and Ben now are on just clipping some cattle. We've got a few out already. Been cleaned up. Aren't we, eh? A lot more to go. I think she's quite liking it. Just had his dinner. Um, we've got more milling going on. And we've got a lot more cattle to get out as well. So, um, yeah, get on with it. Pushing away, getting the muck off the bottom of this one. Then we'll scrap his head, get off the back legs as well, if there is any. Chapter end now. Oh, like you know, right standing. Quite nice, aren't you? Good lass. This one's a bit steady, very steady. We'll just trap, trap his head. If he ever sticks his head through. Here he does. And we'll get his tag number. We can record his weight. We're looking for a few more. These guys are maxing and relaxing. But yeah. Hey, still chewing his cud. Watching him, what I'm doing though. That's all I like to see. We've got um, going up the race some nice Charolais brown coloured ones. Angus? Yeah, they're Angus, but probably crossed with Charolais or something. Like this one here. It's a nice thing. Oh, right, so we need to push this. Barley up fairly sharply because it's getting towards the top of the pile. And if it reaches it, it bungs the flights up on the auger and we'll have a real bad time. It'll uh, yeah, it'll make a mess. So we'll push it up with this grain pusher and then happy days. And as you can probably tell, it started raining here in South Yorkshire. And now we're just filling up. The mill, I've just put two buckets in. And this is the last one, so should pile up like a bit like a mountain at the top or a small hill. We say. We're not gonna spill any. See that? So it's just starting to pile up, so I know it's full. So we'll Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Don't want to spill any. Got a JCB ready for feeding mode with the MX bucket on the front. Uh, we're just waiting for Ben and Connor to put the molasses in here. Oh, I'll show you this bucket, why not? So, it has an auger in the bottom and feeds along there. This door lifts up and that's what allows the feed to come out at the end. Looks like they're ready to go now. We'll jump back in. Right, we've done milling. Yeah, we'll get that dropped off, straw blow back on, so I've got a few pens to give a bit of additional straw to this evening. Just getting these fellas fed. And this cold is really kicking in on me now. Ruddy nose galore. It's beautiful. It's not really. It's horrible. Yeah, I put my nail in for these this morning, but not been enough, so they get another. That's how it goes. If they need it, they get it. So we just got a mix going on up there. This to pull in the shed, and we're about done, you know. Just putting the glasses in. Um, can see it? Can we see it that way? Ah. Maybe if we had clean windows, just see. There. So everything parked in the shed. Tip the mix off, job done. Tell you if it's been a long video or a short video today, but we've been busy um, clipping them cattle and getting all the other bits. In fact, I broke a sheer about dinner this morning. I'm trying to remember what's actually happened today. I, this cold is just doing my head in massively. I need to go and get some like Vicks or something. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm not like, I don't feel it too bad, but it just it gets you down, man, doesn't it? Um, but, Anyway, hope everyone's feeling better than I am. And um, if you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you've not already. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Oh, joeseals.com is still open for merch. 
So if you've got some Christmas money and you're thinking, how can I spend this? What could I spend it on? Well, get yourself a night. Oh, actually, we're out of stock in the hats, in the warm hats, I think. We might have some of them. Check, check our website, actually, if we've got them. But hoodies, we've got them in stock. Polos, we've got them in stock. And in the beginning of January, if you put a back in stock request, I will order some more hats and we'll get them back in stock as well. So, um, yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I massively appreciate every one of you that does watch. Like, yeah, I love it. I do love it. And it, it brings, uh, it makes me feel better when I'm feeling, um, I'm going on about this cold, it's proper man flu thing. But yeah, it makes me feel better. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.